Hello, I am Jody Wolf, and you're watching Exposed. Today is December 5, 2010. It's 11.53 p.m. in Birmingham, Alabama. Topic today, part one of three of the three easy steps to communism. And um, we'll get into that right now. Communist is next. And when I say next, that means you have to leave the capitalist view and position and enter into the socialist realm. And uh, the next step is communist. So we're in a transition period right now from the capitalist to the socialist, whether you know it or not. And, uh, of course, it can be delayed but when you delay it, I don't know how long that it can be delayed for. But um, I'll get to the spiritual part of that in a little bit. And when I say delayed, that because that uh, brings up this spiritual part that I'm talking about. But uh, we're going through terrible times here on earth. The world wants you to think that they're your keeper. The United States wants you to think, the federal government, that they are your keeper. And um, and they're slowly converting you from socialism. See, they think that, that right now they have socialism in the bag. Really, that's what they think. And uh, so the conversion from socialism to communism is a fairly easy step. Because once you become socialist... You, you pretty much threw up the white flag and gave up. And that's what America is on the verge of doing today. America is doing just that, paying your way to do, the federal government's paying your way to do more and more for you so that you become more and more dependent upon them. And um, that's not a good place to be in because your defenses drop rapidly when someone else is paying your bills. And uh, anyway, you're viewing them as a security blanket and you, my friend, are just where they want you to be. They want you to view them as your security blanket. And uh, so when you start doing that, you're no longer capitalist, you are socialist. When you have a dependency upon your government, rather than getting out working for a living, when you depend on government to pay your bills or where it becomes easier for you not to work and collect three or four or five hundred a week when you can work a full-time job and take home only half that. I'd rather shovel ditches at a dollar an hour than take a handout from the U.S. government. Period. And um, then look at the next step. When you, when you go from capitalist to socialist, when America owns you, they decide for you, your job, your pay, of course, your health insurance, and that has started. The amount of power that you're using your home, they'll control your light switch. Um, the car you will drive, what you will watch on TV, because that'll be closely monitored and regulated. And uh, what you listen to on the radio, the same, monitored and regulated. Internet will be completely controlled by the government. And uh, so these things are the things that, that moves you from the position of being socialist to communist. Uh, now, when you can no longer mention Jesus, and that's being done now, the Bible, the church, you can no longer pray in public. Of course, it started in 1960 in the schools, taking it out of the schools. Um, but even the time is coming when you won't be able to in your own home, just like in China. They catch you praying in your own home because they have, and, and let me say this, of the socialist agenda and the communist agenda, they have neighbor pitted against neighbor. 
someone that you think is your close neighbor, you go out and you work in your garden or you go out and get your mail and you know, your mate, mate, neighbor may happen to walk out and get his at the same time. And you know, this guy you've known for a long, long time and you may mention, hey, we, uh, we had a little prayer supper last night. You ought to come next time. Next thing you know, they're knocking on your door and they took you off to jail because your neighbor told on you. That's exactly what they want to start taking place. I say start, not just yet, but that is part of, of what I'm leading to. Now, um, you start out with a fine and then you go to jail time and then from there, you're just being put away. You're, you're off to a camp somewhere and you'll never be seen again. Um, and then the church will have to go on the ground. The church dies. And, and when all this happens, look, you're a communist. That's it. No two ways around it. You are communist. All your rights are over. And um, the scary part is, let me just, let me, number one, they can control your your operations you say you're at 60 like me i'm 61 and if i need uh, a liver transplant or kidney or heart no no way they're not going to pay for that so you will not get it you will not be on that list in fact all these privileges will be converted from the 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 people, the the people, the like you and I, to the people of of importance, and um, and that's a really tight knit group of people. So uh, you can forget those things really, and you can look at communist countries now, and and see just that. But um, when you're no longer free. That's it. You're you're done. You're over. You are communist, and that's exactly where they want you to be, and that's exactly what their intention is. Their intentions are to bring us down, bring us from capitalist to socialist, and they get a little tighter grip on you, and and then from socialist to communist, and you become communist. Go on the internet, and why you can. Look it up. Look at the life of, of uh, if you can find it. Now, a lot of it's hidden. But the life of someone that has written a story of coming out of Russia under a communist rule or out of China, even out of Cuba, and, and see what they went through in their life opposed to what they go through Regardless what country they're in, as long as they're not communist, as long as they're in a semi-capitalist socialist group, they're not communist. But read the differences. You're you're virtually a prisoner in your country. And you do what they tell you to do and when they tell you to do it. They even pick, they even hand pick the people that they want to go out for sports and they train them like dogs. And hey, check for yourself if you think I'm telling you a tale. But um, that's the truth. Um, now with that said, let's talk a little bit about what America went through to become America. And I will not do that now. I will ease on to part two and tell you what America had to go through to be America. It's a very long, hard battle with some very great men. You'll not want to miss part two. Jody Wolf, Expose.